Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I've done anything, but I've been kind of busy with school and this isn't really the main thing I do. But anyway, I'm here with Minecraft again and doing another survival because in this new update there's these um, there's these different world types now, um, including Buffet. So I messed with that for a little bit and that was pretty cool because that's you can use the world generator to change whatever kind of uh, land. Uh, that spawns in, and you can also choose, I believe, just one biome. So I'm gonna go with forest here, and keep these things off, and of course that stuff on. And survival mode, so, and just go right in. Sorry for the lack of quality on the microphone. I've had to change things up, but that's oh, alright. Anything I can do to just at least document the whole thing. So, yeah, I picked the Skylands, or something along those lines, and the forest biome, so it just puts them together and it creates the world around you, infinitely. And I've always kind of loved the floating island. Alright, so, now that I got some wood. Uh, I did do a a test run, kind of just to run through the world with creative, not this specific place, but similar generation. And the, the strongholds, they still spawn, and also the, the mine shafts, those still show up, everything else, pretty much in generation. Uh, I think I did see villages show up, although it was quite odd with the way they spawned, just kind of floating at random levels. Alright, so I've got uh, some essentials here, just basic stuff. Once I went down there, down in here, so I guess I'll just move around and see what I can collect. Yeah, a lot of these areas, they're just really open for potential for building around. Very uh, fictional type of architecture. I can go on the side of mountains or in these gorges here. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a pretty cool landscape. What do I need? I need... I, need, I guess I need ore. Just... I think I might... Oh wow, this is not too bad. My priority now is just being prepared for the night. I'm not really planning on building a house yet. Of course, lots of mobs are going to be spawning because of the dark. The dark that's all over the place. Yeah, this isn't good. Not good. Oh. Get oh. <sighs> Shit. <sighs> Brilliant. <sighs> okay, no idea where it was. Alright, somewhere down here. Ah, yes. This direction. 
Oh, thank you. stuff back. Right. I think I might try to find some place a bit more open. And also food being a priority. It's gonna get bad pretty fast. I need to find like a, a ledge. Or at least get up in the trees. Wow. Yeah, something like this might do. Yeah, I could probably put a house down there. Dig it down safely though. myself for now. Alright, I'm just gonna wait until the morning where it might be more safe. Yeah, this is a bad start, but that's alright. Alright, so that's day. I hope there's nothing around. Hope that it all burned up. I'm in there, I should get over quick. Alright. So I think I'll set home here. Of course I'm gonna need wool. the stuff out. Actually it might do me good to write down these coordinates. Well gotta take this thing down. So yeah this is a bit of an interesting dynamic. A little different from Skyblock because there's you're not really limited to resources as much. Of course there are some things that you're limited to with this with one specific biome. But you can still get by. Well, I need to make some farm land or find some animals soon. Yeah, one thing I'm thankful for too this update you can put the same kind of chest in the adjacent block so you don't have to worry about making any trap chests anymore just so you can have chests right next to each other. So that's fantastic. I can't get used to sprinting. Yeah, it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Update, that's about all I have right now. Oh, this will be good. This will come in handy for the farms. I'll keep that in mind. So I need seeds. Yeah, altogether this is a pretty nice place. I'm not really gonna risk getting any potatoes or carrots from him. Alright, 
have a formidable amount of seeds. Got the water and a nice way to travel up and down this little area. enough for one one bread yeah so far I'm liking this it's a different challenge than what I've faced before it's in terms of survival and also it comes with a very pretty landscape which yeah it's still cool I can have fun with a lot of the architecture around here. Oh no 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 no! Bad. No. And the skeletons have got gotten much more challenging than previous updates. They run around so quickly. Should be good enough for now. I'll probably expand the farm next and maybe clear the stuff out, make a bit more of a livable area, and hope to find some sheep up on those bigger lands. I want this torch down there. Yeah, it's probably good enough for now. I'll just wait for another day to come back. But uh, I'll probably end this video here and pick it up next time. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I only do these videos just for fun, not really going to be doing it as a main thing. as as I've said before, just to, I don't know, make content for whoever wants to look at it. And uh, maybe also do the same thing as well, just start a survival with uh, this, this buffet world. Not specifically this one, of course, there are other ones that you can do. There's uh, like the cavern systems, there's just simple flatlands, and also these skylands, which are very nice. Anyway, I'll just end the video now. Die.